Okay, so welcome to day 14. So today there's a special video. There is two videos. So one is that here I'll be explaining a little bit and telling your aim of what you should do during this um, 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 meditation period. Okay. So the another video is where I slowly guide you through my voice and slowly slowly guide 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 what you need to do. Okay, that will be on the link below. Uh, this link is only available i mean you can go to that video only through this link you will never find this video in my um, youtube page so only for those of you who are really into meditation and all those things and and if you really want to start yes you can go down there and click the link so here now i'm going to explain a little bit uh, what are the aim and target that you want to do or you need to do okay so um, here is to actually what you need to do is to connect with your whole body. How is your palm feeling? How is your finger feeling? How is your uh, um, wrist feeling? Okay? How is your wrist feeling? How is your forearm feeling? How is your bicep feeling? How is your neck feeling? Every single way, even your organs. So um, using this when you are sitting down meditating, um, normally people would teach on how to control the breathing only. Now, the idea is the same, it's just that now you need to focus not to your breathing but to your entire body organs and control it as you like. So when you are able to slowly control every single part of your body, slowly you are able to command it to heal it itself or make it recover itself or make it much more stronger. So this is something that you can do, uh, it, it's not really restricted to everyone it just takes practice okay some people take it longer to get it there some people take shorter time to get it there but if you always put effort you will sure get there okay so one thing it helps like for myself I have uh, gastric issues um, last time I'm unable to release this all this uh, gas because in my body um, as I just studied about TCM there's a lot of what we call the the, the excessive yang energy um, and it keeps on working too much when it works too much and it stores inside that too much and and what happened to me is that it, it becomes it is like a balloon so if you keep on pump the balloon 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 of course there is some space is okay but if it's too much slowly it will burst so what you do is that when you expand you slowly release a bit a bit and a bit and a bit and a bit of course the problem may not be solved yet but at least you do this practice so that it's not so often for you to get um, the gastric issues like go vomit and all these things so this is one way that you can help yourself relief at the same time to solve the problem you may need another solution maybe i do it in another video okay so as simple as the thing is really simple you have to slowly slowly get in your mind and slowly get into the what we call alpha stage and you slowly feel your your consciousness move throughout the body okay so um, you can start off simple as um, if you can see here you breathe in and out that will be the most basic fundamental breathe in and out so as you breathe in you feel the air goes here and then it comes into the blood and the blood goes throughout the body and you slowly feel it to your hand to it here feel the sensation that you're moving okay so once you practice that moving already slowly you command it to go to where you want okay so um, as you're commanding it when you move around if you are very, very familiar here, yeah, sometimes you can feel, oh, this part here is stuck. How come you cannot go through? And then slowly, slowly, when you reach there, okay, then you focus all your entire energy, pull up from the leg energy and all the entire leg, all the entire hand, and focus all into one part here. Let's say, example, I have a problem here. I focus all on here and giving it the energy and slowly push all those excessive energy out come out come out to your hand and slowly imagine this and slowly you push out through your palm through your palm okay so um, this takes practice okay i will not um, expect that uh, everyone can get through this but if you practice this uh, it will be very beneficial for you for one is that sometimes if you have the, uh, like 
um, every morning you wake up, you just feel like, oh, it's so tired, I cannot move. Uh, that kind of thing, if you are able to command your body slowly, slowly but surely, um, you are able to slowly command yourself, even though you don't feel like waking up, but you can command your body to go. That's where you slowly take control of your body, and that is where like um, your body not to like go and have sickness by itself and all these things. That is where you take control of your body in terms of physical wise. So that will be the whole idea for this. Okay, if you can see, this is one of the example that um, normally I do my every morning routine, my my uh, ritual. I actually now start to wake up earlier and I wake up around last night I wake up around 8 or 7.38 but now I wake up at 6.30 which means I have more time so I have more time and I don't feel as tired as before it's funny thing is that I sleep lesser but I'm much more energetic so um, uh, that is my experience so these are the example of uh, what I do every morning not to purposely force out but after you control it and you feel it you just need to release out okay? there's two different types huh? one is you entirely really forcing out <coughs> like this no don't force out let it come out um, naturally but you must guide it to come out if you never guide it to come out it may or may not come out okay may or may not is sometimes lucky lah. sometimes uh, you are able to release sometimes you are unable to release so once you slowly learn how to control it, you are always able to release because when you are always releasing, remember I talk about the balloon, it will not blow too much. Okay, so control, so here. It's funny how I'm seeing myself to blow. <laughs> So once, once like for me, um, once I've released it, now I can feel my body energy starts to flow. Now this is what you are seeing right now. It's um, way, way, way lesser than last time. If you had seen my last time, I can burp for at least one to two minutes continuously. But too bad I never record it. So of course, <laughs> at that time I do not know what's the issue. But slowly as I discover and really, really connect with it and things get lesser and lesser and lesser that, that's for me, it's an improvement so I see in, my, in terms of my being in terms of my you know, energy it, it slowly slowly starts to giving me power back so this is my experience so I hope that this uh, experience can help for those who are having gastric especially like, uh, because I myself have gastric and, and you, you, you may be able to help yourself as well so because there's a lot of um, you know medication you eat and sometimes you eat um, like uh, 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 you need to eat the ginger and all those things uh, I've come to a stage whereby I eat also I cannot release that is how severe it is and I'm only 22 yeah by the way 22 it happened to me uh, last year last two years ago every some nights very frequently I cannot sleep it cannot come out until there's one incident then it, I able to come out already then I slowly start to feel ah this is what relax feels like so um, put effort into it and and in the long run it will be much better for you because it reduces the chances of um, damaging your liver especially and your stomach because the moment when you damage your liver um, you see some of the cases where I recently treat about the neck or maybe you see me stretch uh, this one um, I'm actually don't want the people to go to that, the, that stage if they go to that stage they want to reverse back to this it's a little bit hard but you can you can always need to put effort but it takes a much more longer time to recover so don't let the damage do more to your body so take good care of yourself I hope it helps your guys I know I a little bit talk too long but I, I really really hope that my sharing can help you through this camera video so if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe if you do not want to miss out all these good things I'm about to share for these 60 days. As simple as this one is a special date. So if you have subscribed before and you found out this video, and good for you. If you are in the future after or 14 of November, which means there's a missed special date, don't worry. Message me through my Instagram. I will of course 
find a good dates for you and the directions to go through to connect with your body just need to contact me at instagram okay so um, without uh, that much said thank you very much uh, again i really hope that it helps your guys please be sure to comment down below on how you feel or, or maybe give me your experience then i may be able to see ah did my message pass through out well enough is it much detail so if it's lacking this part then i know what other details i can bring in to your guys so good i'm eddie the bone setter see you guys soon bye bye oh no not soon tomorrow <laughs> okay bye bye